Hello folks, it's Sunday morning and I just want to just say a quick word about a giant of a musician that uh, passed away uh, and he was very significant to, to, for me and that's Jack Bruce. <coughs> In my life I've really um, tried not to idolize people but um, honestly as a kid the Beatles were, I idolized them and then the other two musicians that I've idolized when I was younger were Jack Bruce and Peter Gabriel and um, Jack Bruce was the inspiration he was the person whose bass playing made me want to play the bass um, it was Jack Bruce and I won't bash Eric Clapton I'll just leave it at this that it in the in the band the cream it wasn't get Eric's guitar that I thought was magical it was the rhythm section it was Jack Bruce and Ginger Baker and um, I just love Jack Bruce's um, music and his playing, his approach to the bass. You know, he's a monster, and I uh, really, really slammed the bass hard. He played hard, and um, matter of fact, it was my perception, even as a child, listening to Cream, that Eric Clapton was struggling to um, get on the same footing as the bass and the drums. I always still sounds like that to me. My Cream albums are buried in the closet, but my Jack Bruce albums are always available. I played this all the way through yesterday. Songs for a Taylor, possibly his finest. Just want to show these right quick. Out of the Storm. Seems like a lot of folks don't know too much about this album. 1974. This is really good. I was playing these, so they're all kind of mixed up. Things We Like on the Jazzier side with John McLaughlin and Dick Hextall Smith, John Heisman. Sorry about the light there. You know, Jack Bruce came up playing the blues, English blues, with John Mayle and all those people, Alexis Corner. And you folks that follow me know that I'm not a blues aficionado. But like Jack, I had to learn how to play the blues, and it's like it's one of those ways that you seem to earn your stripes is to learn how to play the blues and play it well. Jack Bruce played the blues well. Here's Harmony Row. Love this album. For the longest time as a teen, the song, folk song on here, just, it was my heart song and I actually wrote it down in my diary that I wanted that song played at my funeral. That's when I was younger. But this album and Jack Bruce still figure in real large in my history. Jack Bruce at his best, double album um, compilation, Jack Bruce Band, House Tricks, even this is good, Simon Phillips on drums. I never saw Cream, but I got to see West Bruce and Lang, those albums are in the closet, so I can't show them. And my claim to fame was, I think it was maybe 15, 14 or 15 when I saw West Bruce and Lang. You know, I made sure I got as close to Jack Bruce as I could, stood right in front of him. And my claim to fame is that while he was singing a blues song, he was singing and playing so hard that the spit is just flying out of his mouth and between his teeth, and I got sprayed. I got Jack Bruce spit on my face, and it was like, you know, I could have died and gone to heaven at that point as a kid. His playing and Leslie West's playing was just monumental. Jack Bruce was always a consummate musician, involved with all sorts of projects that span, you know, music uh, genres. Here's one he was involved in. Carla Blay's Escalator Over the Hill. Carla Blay, Paul Haynes. Signed by Don Preston of the Mothers of Invention, who's also on here. This is a really quite a work of art. Um, everyone from Jack Bruce to John McLaughlin to uh, Tony Williams is on this out on this album. Jack Bruce um, also um, he was well involved in the avant garde. Here he is with Don Cherry on Michael Mantler's No Answer. Really excellent. Really excellent. Said so keep it short. I uh, read this morning someone had some critical words for the uh, the VC, you know, and all I can say is, you know, as much as 
I love the BC, you know, I accept the criticism, you know, what the man said is as true as it is, and, and you know, so if that's the point of view you want to take, and, you know, it's, it's as much true as it isn't, you know, so, um, my thought is, you know, I, I've done a, my fair amount of bitching and moaning on here, and I do every now and then, but mostly what I attempt to do is put across, you know, a vibration that's useful and helpful, and, um, So I just put it like that, you know.